So there are a lot of um, ethical questions about AI, chat GPT, AI art. I talked about that more over on my main channel, but for me, I am obsessed with the possibility of chat GPT and what it could do to help content creators and just human ingenuity and productivity overall. There's a whole other discussion we could have about the ethical side of it, but I wanna to talk today about the five ways that you can use chat GPT for your content creation. If you're new here, this is Delusion Media. My name is Lija. I help content creators make more money. Chat ChatGPT, if you didn't know, is an AI-based chat bot that will write things for you. And it'll write anything for you. It'll write you a novel. It'll write you a blog post. It'll write you code. It'll write you an outline. It'll write you a college syllabus. It'll do a hell of a lot of stuff. And the possibility of ChatGPT is really exciting for someone like me who is constantly thinking about ways to create content, repurpose content, content is king, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, all right. Now I know you might be thinking, Lija, isn't using a chat bot a little bit disingenuous? How is it going to have my voice? It's not coming from me. Am I just tricking my viewers when I use ChatGPT to create content? I think no. I think you would be if you went into ChatGPT and said, write me me a script and then just read verbatim from that script. I also think that would be a dumb use of ChatGPT. One thing to be wary of with ChatGPT is that it is not always right, but it always states the facts that it uses with a lot of confidence. So it's really easy to fall into the trap of thinking like, well, how could it have come up with that if it wasn't true? Like it's saying it with such authority. No, no, <laughs> you need to fact check. ChatGPT. And it's still a bot. There are still a lot of limitations, even though everyone's kind of up in arms talking about how exciting and wild and crazy all of this new AI technology is. There's still some limitations. So I am not suggesting you go into ChatGPT and take verbatim what comes out of it, but it is a really handy tool to start the groundwork for creating content. And using ChatGPT or any AI is kind of an art form. You really have to learn what inputs that you put into it are actually going to get outputs that are usable for you. So this is a trial and error thing that's gonna be really dependent on what you are trying to accomplish, what you're trying to get out of the chatbot. But I think there's a lot of potential to help make more content, get your content out there a little bit more quickly and free up a little space, energy, and time for you to think bigger picture about your content creation business. So to me, ChatGPT is exciting for the possibility of getting the busy work of content creation out of the way, at least partially. And I think if you wanna remain competitive as a content creator, you probably will need to be using some sort of AI or a human assistant, I guess, but if you are still growing and you don't have the ability to hire a content creation assistant, I think ChatGPT and other AI tools have really powerful capabilities that could help you make more content because other content creators are also going to be using the same technology. And if you don't, my fear is that in a year or a couple years, it's gonna be so ubiquitous in the content creation space to use AI to help create content that if you're not using it now and learning how to use it now, you might fall behind. And what I find ChatGPT to be most helpful with is in repurposing content or ideas that you already have and in idea generation. So going to ChatGPT and expecting to get a verbatim script out is probably not gonna serve you well. It's not gonna have your tone of voice no matter how much you tweak it. It's not going to cover the exact things you wanna cover, but it can be really great for either generating ideas or taking the ideas you have and turning them into other content. So without further ado, here are the five ways that I think ChatGPT can be really useful for content creators. One, brainstorming video ideas. Did you know you can go into ChatGPT and say, generate a list of video ideas based on X topic. So as you've been doing more research about the content creation business, you might have heard the idea of pillars or having three to five main topics around which your content always is based upon. Having these pillars allows you to more easily generate ideas and it allows your viewers to know exactly what you're coming to the table with week after week. So you can take one of your pillars, for example, one of the pillars of this channel is finding new sources of revenue for content creators to help them expand their sources of income and increase their wealth. So I could go to ChatGPT and input something like, generate a list of video ideas 
on the topic of multiple income streams for content creators. And you can get even more specific with that. You can say who the target audience is. You could say who, what the tone of voice is. You can have it exclude certain things. And then you hit enter and out comes a list. You can even specify how many you want on the list. I will say I have asked ChatGPT to generate lists of 50 ideas for me in the past, and it likes to repeat ideas sometimes. So it kind of cheats when you get to a list of 50, but even 10. And then from there, you can break it down further. You can take one that sounds interesting out of that 10, and you can say, create a list of video ideas for this and get deeper and deeper into your topic. And by the end, you can have a huge list of video ideas that you might not have thought of earlier to add to your video ideas list. Number two, you can create an outline. So say one of the ideas that it generated is something that you think is a great idea for a video. You can then take that title and go into ChatGPT and say, create an outline for a video on X topic. Or sometimes when I ask it to do a video script, it adds in like really generic chatty words like, hey guys, but even if it's not a script that I'm asking it for, it's very weird. And it, it adds in things that I think it sees a lot of other YouTubers doing, but that aren't really helpful in the outlining portion. So what I'll do sometimes is because my content for my law channel specifically tends to be more of like a video essay, I will then ask it to create an outline for an essay on X topic. And then I'll create other parameters if there's like a certain time frame, like years that I want it to look into or a certain tone of voice I want it to take or certain things I specifically want it to cover. And then hit enter and it will create an outline for that topic. And from there, you can even have it tweak the outline. You could say, add more about X subject. So if there are different headings, you can say, add more about this specific heading. And when you hit enter, it'll add more or go into more depth about the specific parts that you want it to expand on within the outline. So by the time you're done, you have this pretty robust outline that you would have had to have generated yourself by going onto the internet and doing research. Now, I highly suggest you go and do research based on the outline that it has given you, because again, sometimes it very confidently says things that are wrong or that it just completely made up, <laughs> which is why I don't recommend that you use it to create a full script because it's just gonna come out not sounding like you and with a lot of errors. But the ability of it to create an outline is really powerful both to get you that groundwork done that would have already taken you a while to get to and it could generate ideas or make you think about things that you would not have otherwise thought about within that topic. And then you can use that outline to do further research, fill in the holes and write your script. From there, you can take the script that you've written, or you can take the outline itself. And I often like the outline because I find that ChatGPT only looks back a certain number of characters. Like it if you give it a really long script, it has a really hard time summarizing the script because it's too long. So giving it an outline can often be a bit more effective. So I would suggest taking the outline that you created instead of the script, take that outline that again, ChatGPT created and then you filled in, put it into ChatGPT and then ask it to turn that outline into a blog post. Again, you can specify into a blog post using the voice of X person. You could pick a well-known personality and it will include the voice of that personality if it's unique enough into the writing. Or I like to use words like in a witty and sarcastic tone or something that'll capture your personality and your voice. And then it will write a probably 500 to 1000 word blog post for you. Again, I have yet to find that it creates a perfect blog post. Like I will copy and paste it in exactly word for word, but it again gets a lot of the work done for you. So you have something to work off of. And that's the power of ChatGPT in my experience is that it gets you from zero to 50% there really quickly. And it saves you that time and that anxiety of staring at a blank piece of paper or a blank screen. So that was Number three, it can turn your video script or outline into a blog. Number four, you can then take that blog post or again, take the outline, put it into chat GPT and ask it to generate tweets, like a tweet thread. And then you can share that tweet thread same day or the next day after you share the video and link back to the video saying, you know, here's a bunch of thoughts I have if you want to know more 
go check out my video. I have been most successful with this if I ask it specifically how many tweets to generate. So you say something like, turn this blog post into five tweets or summarize this blog post in 10 tweets. And then you can copy and paste it into a tweet thread format. Again, we're repurposing content that we've already made and we're doing it very quickly. Again, you have to ask it to speak in your tone of voice and the tweets that it generates probably are gonna be a little bit off the mark. You're gonna wanna copy and paste them and then edit them to have your voice to speak in the way that you would naturally speak. Because I think at least right now where we're at with AI, it is not good enough to perfectly replicate a person's voice. But it again, will get you 50% of the way there if not more. And then what you can do from there, hot tip, you screenshot those tweets and that tweet thread and then you turn it into a carousel and you post it on your Instagram. We're just we're just reusing content left and right, people, okay? Don't reinvent the wheel every time if you can take what you've already done and make it into more content. Because, and I know some people think that's kind of gimmicky, like you're trying to just reuse the same idea or you're not coming up with new things, but the reality is that different people consume media in different ways. So the odds are that you are reaching very different people on Twitter or on Instagram than you're reaching on your TikTok or your YouTube. And so by repurposing your content, you are reaching a larger audience. It's not just the same people seeing you say the same ideas over and over again. And if you're teaching something useful as part of your content, honestly, repetition is often helpful. I know in my experience, if I have a content creator that I really like who's teaching me something, I find it really helpful to maybe watch their YouTube channel and then I also follow them on Instagram and I see a carousel of posts that they made related to that video it reframes it in a more visual and different medium. And for me, I enjoy seeing the same content twice, just repackaged in a different way. It helps me learn. So don't knock the idea of repurposing your content. I think it can be a really helpful way to grow and reach more people. Speaking of TikTok, my number five way that ChatGPT can be useful for content creators is by taking that outline or those tweets or that blog post, any of the content you've made, probably the shorter form stuff, not necessarily the entire script of the video, but the outline that it's already made for you, you put that back in and you ask it to create a TikTok script for summarizing that video. Sometimes, again, I will say it will include really generic language that it thinks every TikToker uses. Like it'll start with, hey guys, today in my video, or something really corny that you really don't wanna include in your TikTok. So I would cut out the first couple lines or you can rephrase it and ask it to just summarize this point or this part of this outline in 400 words. And then you'll have 400 words that you can then use for your TikTok script. Because sometimes I find when I ask it to make a video script, it includes all this unnecessary fluff that is not in my voice and is kind of useless. Okay, so those are the five ways that you can use ChatGPT to increase the reach of your content and make more content. One little bonus extra tip I will give you is that once you've done all this and you've created all this content based on this one idea that ChatGPT pumped out for you, you can then take that one idea and pump it right back into ChatGPT and say, ChatGPT, come up with a list of YouTube video ideas related to X the idea that it already gave you. And then you can just build from there. It's truly a never ending content generation machine. And I hope that I have demonstrated how useful it can be in your content creation journey. Play around with it, experiment with it. The first time you try it, probably not gonna get what you want out of it, but the more you try, the better you'll get at getting ChatGPT to pump out exactly what you want it to give you. Comment down below if you've tried this, what have been successful search strategies or use strategies for you to put into ChatGPT to get out what you want. I would love to know. It's something I'm still learning that I think will only get better and better with time as ChatGPT, the AI gets smarter and smarter. If you've heard me talk about all of this repurposing content and you're like, Lee, just slow down. Like, I don't even know the first thing about how to even get started on YouTube. Don't worry. I got you covered. You can grab my free get started checklist at this link in the description down below. It'll give you a step-by-step -step list of everything that you need to go from overwhelmed and scared to finally pressing record. Again, that get started checklist is in a link in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.